Oh, I can. Um, this is just a quick video for your new car, ready for Saturday, and show you where some of the controls are for it. So, just on the outside, look. I just go around to the rear, at the passenger side, where the fuel filler release is. Okay, so that's this button just here. Look, just pop that cap there, and that pops out. Now that actually locks with the central door lock. Is when the car's locked, you can't open the petrol flap. Okay, just go around to the boot. And that opens just here. Little button you press just there, which opens the boot up for you. And then that's ready to go in the car when it's been cleaned. And then there's your spare wheel and tool kits just over there, look. And that little bag there, that's got a net in which ties down um, onto these hooks here tie things down the boot should you want to. It's a stretchy net and the, the hooks are there, there, there and there. there. So, I'll just go around to the driver's side. Obviously uh, the engine's running at the moment. If it wasn't you can lock and unlock the car just pressing this button just here providing you've got the keys on you. Okay and you've also got remotes on the key fobs as well. So. Um, I'm just into the car here. This is driver's door. It's got four electric window switches. Okay, uh, lock and unlock for the car. Lock for the rear windows. And that sets the door mirrors to fold them. Now they're set to fold when the car's locked. And just the door mirrors, it's left and right on there. And just use the circle there to make the necessary adjustments. So. Um, right, just onto the driver's seat. The height adjustment just there, look. Uh, forwards and backwards is between your legs. Your backrest is that one there, just wind that window there, and then um, you've got your lumbar adjustment just there. On this panel just here, you've got a headlight adjuster, dashboard lights, um, a lane departure warning, and traction control, that's the off switch. Then wipers are on here, it's upwards for the front and twist for the rear. You pull towards you to wash the front windscreen and then you push away to do the rear window. That's just like that one there, look. And then just get into the car. <laughs> so, steering wheel on the right hand side, you've got cruise control and trip computer. There's look your um, thing, so just confirm the mileage, what we were talking about a minute on the phone, it's five miles, so I had the wrong glasses on, it was in nine degrees, and then just give you information there, and we filled the petrol tank for you, so that's already done, um, and on the left hand side of the steering wheel, you've got basically Bluetooth operation and radio controls, lights are on this stalk here, and it's twist at the end, it's auto setting, so basically you put them onto auto, when it gets dark they go on their own accord, and you've got front and rear fog lights on there. Just down here in the centre console. Right, so electric handbrake, I'll just quickly show you how this works. So, to switch it off you press that button there. Okay, that's the handbrake off. You then press auto hold. Okay, and that will replace your handbrake while you're travelling. When you finish your journey, you lift that back up again. And that's the handbrake back on. Um, that switches the parking sensors off. That changes it from sport to normal mode for driving. Uh, that one switches the stop start off, and that one's hill descent to use with the um, cruise control. Uh, stop start for the car is this one just here. So it's foot on brake, just press that button there. Heat controls for this one are just here, look, so it's Set to work from the driver's side, but you can do it separately either side of the car. So you set your temperature on there. Um, your fan speed this one here. Air conditioning on and off. Heated seats, either side. Uh, that's fresh air, that's air recirculation. Also, it's heated rear window and maximum defrost just there. The auto setting is for the climate control. So basically, you set the temperature on your car, press auto, and it does it all for you, basically. So. Go back to manual control, it's just here, look. And then you've got your screen up here. So it's a touch screen, you've got your full size for your, map, for your navigation, and again, that side for radio. And basically, everything's on there. 
to set anything up on the car you press the setup button and just for instance telephones go to Bluetooth Bluetooth connections add new and basically that will find your uh, phone providing the um, your phone switched on in settings so it's, it's visible to the car and the home screen is that one just there I hope that's everything. I can't think of anything else. If I do, I'll let you know. But otherwise, we'll see you Saturday morning. Thank you. Bye.